within the past month, I have been busy handling business up in school. Since it is, or was, depending when this video comes out, editing is not easy. My last year, I had to work double time since I strive for a higher education that I will be pursuing this coming September. In the midst of all the paperwork, there was an assignment that I received that allowed me to do my own thing in my physics class. And for that assignment, I decided to make a 3D forces simulator in Unity. For the simulation, I could have made it incredibly easy on myself using rigid bodies. But I really wanted to explore how the concepts I learned in physics are applied in code. So with that mindset, I set off to create the simulation. And after a week, I got a pretty presentable end result. Right now in the simulation, you're able to move around and select six forces on a single free body. Upon selecting the forces, you're given the ability to change the magnitude of the force in newtons and time it will be applied for in seconds. Outside of the whole forces system select thingy, you can modify the free body's mass in kilograms, pause and unpause the simulation, and reset and apply force changes in the simulation. When the simulation runs, you will also be able to have a pure top-down view of how the free body is moving. I remember when I finished this whole thing, I spent almost an hour just messing with the forces and being mesmerized by the way the free body moved. In those moments, I was more or less just fascinated at how the physics math I learned applied. Alright, let's get into how the thing does its thing. Yeah. So let's start from the beginning. For every force on the free body, they calculate a direction by getting the vector difference between its head and the position of the free body. These vectors produced will represent the force in newtons. Now in order to actually create motion, we need to go from newtons to meters per second squared, which is acceleration, to meters per second, which is velocity, and finally into meters, which is what we want. So to begin this process, I just do some quick math that is just the rearranged newton's second law for acceleration, and add that vector onto the free body's force list. Now in the free body, using delta time, I convert the acceleration into velocity and add it onto the free body velocity. Now finally to apply the velocity using delta time again, I multiply it to the velocity vector to convert it into a displacement and multiply it by a force scale to scale the overall movement of the free body. And after limiting the position of the free body so it doesn't just escape, the result is a 3D force physics simulation. So this project compared to the ones I have made in the past is definitely not the largest, but I found it worth sharing because I applied knowledge gained from a high school course I found pretty fun through and through. If you want to mess around and be mesmerized by curves generated by physics math, there will be an itch.io link in the description. So with that said, that is all I got for my 100th video on YouTube, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.